You know what happens. Everybody steps outside and says the electric is off. On the hottest day of the year. That man, like many others in Northwest DC, tonight are without power and without air conditioning. Pepco's outage map shows nearly 2,000 customers are without power tonight, most of them in the Petworth neighborhood. That's where we find John Duran. And John, I know you've been closely following this story for us today. Give us an idea how people are doing out there. It is still brutally warm. Simone, these, these uh, people out here are maybe in for a long night and they're ready for that as Pepco is estimating this power outage might not be fixed for another 24 hours or so according to Pepco's website. You just missed about 30 seconds ago. We saw a crew just behind us uh, working to get the lights turned back on and they actually did for about 30 seconds. Uh, 10 minutes ago, lights came on and went right back off. But people tell me, the power went out around 7.45 tonight. Oh, here comes that Pepco truck, uh, maybe coming to uh, get back to work in this neighborhood. But as soon as the lights came out, people came outside to get some fresh air after the air conditioning went out. So this is, I wanna show you a real busy intersection, Georgia and New Hampshire Avenue Northwest. It's been without lights for hours with MPD officers directing traffic earlier and pedestrians. We've seen people living on this block head out to their cars, get some air conditioning any way they can. One man tells me he's actually planning on staying with a friend or checking into a hotel rather than staying at home without air conditioning. But not before, he says, he checks on some elderly neighbors on his block. We got quite a few um, that's around here, and I'm going to probably knock on the doors just to make sure they got water, enough water and anything they need that I can do before I head to the hotel. <laughs> Yeah, you, I mean, you saw it. It is uh, dark out here. That Pepco crew behind me tells me they were working to figure out what caused this outage. That's still under investigation as it might be in for a long night out here. Simone, again, this might not be fixed until 11 o'clock tomorrow night, according to Pepco's web, uh, website. Excuse me. 24 hours from now, just brutal to hear, especially when you consider that it is 88 degrees out there as we speak. John Duran for us tonight. Thank you.